I realized in the new modern days, our attention spans start to become shorter and shorter. We're always trying to get new things as fast as possible. In the old days, especially our grandparents, they always uh, fix what they have instead of throwing it out when it's broken. And I, th I find that very beautiful. The cabinet is a kind of symbolism of the love between Mary and Vincent, the characters in the film. And they have been married for 60 years and they have their ups and downs. Just like the cabinet, it was brand new and then it was used and then it was kind of broken. But they always tried to put it together and keep the love alive. So day one we just got set up at Sunjive Studios. Went through all the gear and made sure everything was uh, the way it needed to be and Sony, all the gear that they sent over was obviously very helpful. <laughs> um, there was a lot of it. It was a massive space. The lighting was very minimal. We were essentially setting up for the void sequence that takes place in the film. So the inspiration for the void thing kind of comes from the film Lucy and the Netflix show Stranger Things. Um, both of them had a, like a dark void scene to symbolise that someone's memory or someone's vision or someone's supernatural world. And I find that idea very, very interesting. It was really good to have the low light capabilities of the FX6 that day. We were able to create a really cool effect, able to get rid of those walls well, so lighting up our subjects really well. We chose uh, FX6 to film this project for three main reasons. So the first reason is the lightweight of the camera body. Imagine a lot of uh, very intricate moving shots in the studio that we filmed. I couldn't imagine doing that with a heavier camera gear because that's just not possible for myself. Like as a filmmaker, I love the lightweight nature of this camera. As a smaller production, everyone involved takes on multiple roles. From producer point of view, we can use smaller crew to still produce the good quality short narrative content. It being a camera that's so easy to use, it's pretty exciting to see just how few people it takes to run it. So we had uh, our gaffer Sunny holding the reflector but also touch focus on the screen. A lot of the shots that we took required precise camera movements with focus shifting between different subjects constantly. The touchscreen autofocus made putting focus a breeze. So we're up here in Woodcroft at an Airbnb um, that we're using for the apartment scenes. The scenes that we're shooting are between Jacob and Chloe. We are filming the very first scene of the whole film with my boyfriend, Jacob. Uh, so this is kind of a little bit of an intense scene. You can see the cracks of the relationship. It's really the uh, emotional climax of their relationship. He gets very aggressive and uh, I think he quite rapidly regrets what happened. It's about like 2.15, 2, 2.30 in the morning um, and it's been pretty chill. Where did I go wrong? Don't you put you in the frame. Because we're shooting at night time and we are going to shoot some car scenes outside, the limited light gear that we can access to as a smaller production really is a, a not going to let us lit everything properly like Hollywood films. But we wanted to achieve that similar look. And the low light capability in the FX6 really helped us achieve that. It's already looking very beautiful. Being able to shoot clean images at the second native ISO of 12,800 is simply just liberating. We can now light a scene simply by using a mixture of practical lights and bounce boards. With the 15 plus stop dynamic range, we were able to protect the highlights and preserve the details on the lampshades while still maintaining a decent exposure across the scene. All the new features in the FX6 uh, really, re really opened my imagination of uh, what kind of shots I can achieve. Moving the camera very easily, doing focus very easily. We can shoot in almost any scenario that you can imagine. So you, it's very exciting to have this new gear. Everyone on set is very passionate and we all enjoy the process of making the short film. My advice to my fellow filmmaker is 
dream big, work hard, and make it happen. If you wanted to become a filmmaker, you really need to just go out and shoot and learn from your mistakes and don't um, be afraid and don't tell yourself that you can't do it, that you can't do it like as good as someone else. Like you can always achieve something that's unique to you and you can learn from that process.